Hey everyone, Aussie Viking here. Now I know it's been a while since I've uh, made a video, but I've actually been working a lot on a variety of different things and well, I've been working so much that I have caught a cold, which you can probably hear in the video, which is annoying, especially before Christmas. However, the upside is I get to spend a lot of time playing Cyberpunk 2077 and I know this is a very controversial game right now. One end people love it, one end people are okay with it, but just think it's really buggy, and some people are like, this is not what we were promised. Now, here's the thing. I am playing this on the Xbox Series X. So, for me, I've been pretty lucky. In my 50 plus hours of gaming on it, I've had one crash, and that was during a 12 hour long playthrough of the game, which was like three days in, so... I've been quite lucky. I've had some other glitches happen too, but they haven't been as bad as some other people saying. So, of course, my opinion on it has changed and isn't as bad as some other people. Second of all, I would argue this is one of my favourite games of 2020. It is so beautiful, and this isn't even next-gen. This is like the Xbox One X slightly up and it's not even next-gen yet compared to Series X and Pro. But it still looks great, I think. Um, obviously some graphical glitches every now and then, but overall it looks fantastic. It feels great. It feels like it's a mix of, uh, Fifth Element, Blade Runner, Judge Dredd, uh, Total Recall, so many other great, fantastic films and styles and such. It feels alive and it's beautiful. I love every second of it. The stories in this game are fantastic. I'm literally spending my time doing side quests, which I implore you to do. Side quests help you level up, that you get some fantastic stories, stories that are just as good, if not better, than most main game stories, and you get to use that to unlock and use near the end of the game when you do the final mission. Um, because, like, like most RPGs that are really well made, a lot of what you do from the outside can kind of come in and help tunnel towards the last mission in your end game story. Um, even then, the story is still pretty great, and... Um, the fact that you just want to keep going on and evolving is fantastic too. Now, I think one of the biggest problems this game has had, though, that some people are hating on, other than the glitches, which is terrible, um, even though they have released in some patches, and I think there'll be another patch coming next week. Um, I don't even think I got the last patch they released, because Xbox takes a while to get, so I don't know if that one's even been released yet. My Xbox hasn't updated yet, from what I know, so maybe I have gotten it, maybe I haven't. Either way, it's definitely more stable than when I first got it, though, so maybe I did. Maybe I just had to get used to it. Who knows? But they are going to release patches, and they do say that within, uh, they're going to release one in a week's time from as I'm making this video, and then January, then February, and that should be it to make uh, most of the game solid, and then they'll go from there. Now, that's fine. If anyone's going to fix a, a bad game that's broken in terms of uh, graphical glitches and glitches in general and all these bugs, it's CG Project Red, because let's be honest here. They have to keep that love for the game alive. And yes, I know they shouldn't have released it, but then they came out and said, look, the higher-ups, as the higher-ups, this is our fault, we are sorry. And I respect that, because here's the thing, they are going to do their best to make this better. And you know what? They're probably going to do something really awesome by saying, you know all that free DLC that we're going to give you? We're going to make them even bigger. Or maybe they'll even go, you know those two expansions we wanted to make that were just as big as The Witcher 3 ones? They're going to be free. I'm not saying they are, but who knows? They, they're going to give us something back. They're going to fix the game, they're going to add a whole lot of free content, which they've already said they're going to do, they might even just make a bit more, and they're going to make us love the game even more. But how's the game now? I really love it. Like I said, some of the side stories are fantastic. I love how everything kind of feeds in, and I kind of like how there's so many different ways to do it. You want to go in guns blazing, you can do it. You want to go in slicing and dicing, you can do it. You want to go in stealthily and scan things, you can do it. But the interesting thing about the RPG is the choice. Now here's the thing. When you start off, your abilities aren't the best, your shooting isn't the best, your melee combat isn't the best, your, how you transverse the world isn't the best, but you do those side quests, you level up, you get those eddies, and you start buying and upgrading your person, and you will. You can upgrade so your guns feel better, and they shoot better. And honestly, the guns went from, oh, this is okay, to, actually, this is actually pretty fantastic for an RPG, um, with the right mechanics and the right guns, and the right skills, which you can kill a few people with a few headshots, if not just one. 
which kind of makes sense because everyone's mostly cybernetic, so a few headshots in the head would make sense because of the cyber shit they have in there, so I kind of like that. Uh, you can slice and dice them, you can do anything, you know? And there's even a way to, up, um, to upgrade to get double jump or just to hold an A button to sh launch yourself in the air to tra traverse objects, which again, fantastic stuff. And I respected the game because it is a game that's always evolving. You will, uh, you will keep going through this game and you'll keep unlocking things getting vehicles for free, buying vehicles, you'll get a whole lot of side quests, you'll just keep doing, you'll keep doing, and you'll learn so many great things. I really love how the ecosystem just comes to life and kind of interacts with everything. Now, is this game a, a renaissance of gaming? Is it going to change gaming for the best? No, it is not. It is not going to do that. But it does take a lot of elements of fantastic games from, say, GTA, Red Dead, Fallout New Vegas... Um, and many other great RPGs, and it takes it, and it kind of morphs it in a way that works for Cyberpunk. It's kind of this, it's kind of the Deus Ex game I've always wanted. It's strong, violent, adult, and it just lets you have that choice, which I personally love. And some of those choices, you just don't really think about or know. For example, I was doing a quest, and it was a side quest, and there's a moment where you've got to shoot someone. However, he's like, don't do it, don't, don't, don't shoot, don't shoot. Um, I don't want to fight you. Um, stand back or I will shoot you, you know? And my first playthrough, I killed him, but then I got killed in the end because I wasn't, I, I didn't check myself out. And I thought, oh, screw it, that, that's annoying. And then I did it again. And this time I didn't shoot. I didn't shoot anything. I didn't get that boss fight that I had before. And it kind of went into a whole completely different direction with a whole new set of, uh, uh, stories and side quests to go through and characters to meet all because I didn't shoot and in another side quest instead of talking to these people which I could have I just shot one in the head and the other guy's like why did you do that oh 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 it's and it was just great because then later on it's like he just goes all crazy and shit and I was like oh wow that's kind of cool I could have talked to these guys or just shooting one randomly in the head kind of makes all these things happen now sure that probably doesn't happen all the time with every little quest, but when it does happen in these quests, it's kind of interesting, different, and I really love it. And I can't wait to come back and just do another playthrough with these. And of course, you've got your three different starts. You've got your nomad, you've got your street kid, and you've got your corporate. And yes, they do kind of play a theme in it. I do know that all the prologues are different. They're about two hours, I think, before they then start into the same storyline that each one goes through. Some people hate this. I'm okay with this, kind of because it kind of reminds me of uh, Dragon Age Origins. You can pick a whole lot of different startups, and after doing that start off, it kind of just went into the main game like every other one. I was fine with it then, I was fine with it now. Yes, maybe it could have been a bit longer, and maybe they will add certain things later on to make it longer, but I think two hours, if you take your time and really look around and stuff, is a good thing, and sometimes those paths can really help out. Oh, you're in a bind, your corporate path might be get you out of it, or your nomad path. With your street kid. It's kind of interesting and kind of a bit different how they all work in tandem with each other. I kind of like that and I really love it in the long run. Overall, I, I think this game is, it was too overhyped, it was, but it's also one of my favorite games of this year and I just love it. I'm literally spending hours upon hours sitting down playing this game and I, I just want to keep playing. I want to do all those side quests. I want to do these great stories. I want to be with these bros and these sisters and these loved ones that you have in this game, because there's so many good things. The world feels alive. This is one of the greatest open world games I've ever played. It is so alive and so crazy and different. I just love it. Yes, there are glitches, and yes, there are some nitpicks that people are going through, especially on Reddit, that have a semblance of authenticity to them. But I personally don't care because I'm playing this game. I'm being addicted to it. I'm enjoying leveling up. I'm enjoying taking my time. And overall, I know I'm getting my money's worth, and then some. I know I'm going to do the other two playthroughs. I know I'm going to get all that free DLC, and if I've got to buy the two expansions or so, or they ever how many expansions they make for this game, I will buy them, because I know I'm going to get my money's worth, and I know they're going to be a good experience, especially after the fuck-up of launch, because they're going to be like, we need to fix this, and they've already come out and said they will. And once they fix all the bugs and stuff, who knows how they're going to fix the other stuff in terms of free DLC and content like that. But in the end, I'm very blown away by this game. It isn't the second coming of gaming. It isn't the greatest thing ever made. But it does do things in a way that are solid. And that's the thing. This game 
taking away the glitches and the bugs is a very solid game. And in it, you will get quests and characters that will stay with you. You will enjoy looking around this world. You will enjoy the guns and the perks. You will just sit back and realize that this is a good RPG, a fantastic RPG. And I'd argue it's a better RPG in elements than, say, The Witcher 3. And uh, really, that's all I can say. I've kind of just, I just want to go back and jump right back into it now. Um, the game is brilliant. Go into it expecting a fun, enjoyable, solid game with glitches. But then again, if you're watching this a year from now or even a month from now, the glitches most likely will be mostly fixed anyway. So keep that in mind. But in the long run, this is definitely a game worth checking out. And I 100% I recommend it. Just don't go in expecting the second coming of gaming. Go into it expecting a solid RPG with great mechanics, great stories and characters and world. And if you're a fan of, like I said, Blade Runner, uh, Deus Ex, Total Recall, The Fifth Element, Alkira, and so many other great ones, you will just love this game. And I swear, if they bring in mods, this would be the greatest Judge Dredd game ever made. Just saying. Anyway, Aussie Vlacking out. I see you in Valhalla. Bye.